Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Points of Articulation. My name's Dave, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today, I'm taking a look at the Hot Wheels Star Wars Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, which is part of the Build the Death Star series released in 2019. Now, Darth Vader's ship made its first on-screen appearance in Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope. And this vessel represents the iconic original Star Wars film. I thought they would have went with the X-Wing the Starfighter or the Millennium Falcon, but I do believe the choice is okay. And remember, this model also comes with a piece of the Death Star, so stay tuned towards the end when we continue our construction. For the size of this particular model, it's the same as the normal release. We're looking at two and a quarter inches long, so it doesn't sound that big, but it's nicely sized as we'll see later on compared to other vessels. So everybody should know how my videos go by now. We're going to take a look at the mold, the paint, put on a stain, compare it to some other pieces, construct our Death Star, and then we'll be done. So let's get moving. All right, let's get this video started. Like in all my videos, I will go over all the major sections of the ship. And then we'll get a nice close-up look to see all those fine details. First up, we have our solar array wings. Looking very nice. We're on both sides with the braces. Looking sharp. In the center here, we have our transparasteel viewport. Laser cannons. Sensors and whatnot on the pylons. Looking dope. In the back, we have our reactor, our ion engines. Looking very nice. Our cockpit hatch. Pretty cool. I always like how the back sort of fins out. Really neat. I'm used to it being flat with the action fleet models and the micro machines, but I do like this look. Now on the bottom, we have three rivets holding it together, some copyright crap, and a peg port for our stand. All in all, a very nice little ship. So now, let's get a closer look. Beginning our closer look on the Darth Vader TIE Fighter, I'm not going to spend too much time on this bad boy since I did an in-depth review on the original release, but the mold's pretty good nonetheless. We can see our solar array wings looking pretty good. We have our wing brace right there looking fantastic. Nothing is flat. Everything's raised up or molded in, which is amazing. Some raised sections on the side and on the brace looking good. And that's the same for this side as well. No real differences whatsoever. Pretty nice. For the interiors, look at that. Beautifully done. I love all the little molded sections in there. That looks great. Then we have our paneling, the wing brace again. And that's the same for this side on the back. Some molding on the sides. And on the aft section of the wing. You can see it looks really good there. Nice. And the bottom, you can see all those little squares molded. Some molded on the top here. And then the wing brace again. And that's the same for this side. We do have copyright crap here and there on the wing. But not too bad. Everything's mirrored. There's nothing really different from side to side. Pretty cool. Love the molding in the aft section, looking good. We can see all those little squares there molded in. Beautiful stuff. Then the wing brace. And more paneling, nice. Moving on to the front of the ship. We have our nicely detailed pylons, looking good with the recessed sections and line work. Fantastic stuff. For our main cockpit section, we have our laser cannons on the bottom. Transparasteel viewport, which all those windows are recessed in. Look at that. That is fantastic stuff. I love when Hot Wheels does that. Moving to the top, we have our cockpit hatch right there. Looking good. More line work and little raised sections spread throughout. Turning the ship around real quick. We have our reactor section, hyperdrive, life support, all that stuff is back here, I believe. And it looks great. Look at all the little line work here and there. Raised sections. And the paint is just reflecting all the light. Holy guacamole. You know, one of my viewers last week, or actually two weeks ago, mentioned, you know, I really should have a black background with this. And I can't argue. The guy's right. I really should. I wish I didn't throw out the old one. But I guess it is what it is. 
On the aft section, we have some beautiful detailing back here. And then the aft of the ship sort of just comes to a point right there. Very aerodynamic. You know, I'm used to the old action fleet and micro machines where that's flat. But I got to admit, the new design is growing on me. For the bottom of the ship, we have three rivets holding it together, peg port for the stand, some copyright crap that's also on the wings. We looked at that before. But again, line work, raised sections, little recesses here and there, beautiful molding all throughout the ship. And I think they did a decent job. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think of the mold here? Especially on the pylons, I love these little, they look like little donuts. Nicely molded, fantastic stuff. And then we have the bottom of the cockpit. Looking good, I love this molded section here. Fantastic stuff. So that's everything for the mold. Hopefully I covered all the major sections. So now let's go over the paint. And now looking at the paint on Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, it's the same as all the other Build the Death Star series ships that have been released thus far. It's just silver. And I don't see any defects whatsoever with my eye. I think it came out good. It reflects light very well. It's a nice shimmer to it. I love this thing quite a bit. Now, the center is all die cast, so you can see it reflects light quite well. The wings are plastic, but the paint really does match well. And from a distance, like if I put it on the desk like this, you can't tell what's die cast and what's plastic, and I love that about this. Very nice paint scheme. So that does it for the mold and the paint, so now let's put this baby back on a stand and compare it to some other ships before we construct our Death Star. And just like other ships we've seen in the Hot Wheels line so far, you get a cool translucent stand with the Imperial symbol. Peg it in the port like so, hear that click. And just like that everybody, you're good to go. And now for a quick size comparison with the Hot Wheels Star Wars Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, which is part of the Build the Death Star series seen here, I have some other TIE Fighters to compare it to. Starting on the right hand side, we have the TIE Interceptor, a nice fan favorite there. And then moving left, we have the original release Darth Vader's TIE Fighter looking good. And finally, the TIE Bomber, which is a beautiful vessel as well. All in all, I think these ships look great and they go well together. And for an added bonus size comparison, here we have all the Build the Death Star series ships I currently own. Episode 1's Naboo Starfighter, Episode 2's Republic Gunship, Episode 3's Jedi Starfighter, and finally, Episode 4's Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. And if you're interested in seeing reviews for any of the ships I showed today, click the links in the description below. And now moving on to that Death Star piece, we have some nice molding in here, basically just for the structure of the thing, a number 4. Some copyright crap there. Our track system. Pretty nice for the exterior of the battle station. You can see it's nicely done. Like always, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Because we're going to look at the whole Death Star as a whole. So that should be fun. But very nicely done. So let's assemble it. Alright, so let's get assembling. Line it up like so. And let's put it together. Nice. We can see it's really starting to take shape here. Looking good. We have our trench going down the center already. Looking dope. Very nice. Only five more to go. And that does it today for my review of the Hot Wheels Star Wars Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, which is part of the Build the Death Star Wave released in 2019. Now, we've seen this same exact mold once before, and I have to say it's pretty good. I love Hot Wheels' attention to detail on the solar array wings the main body, and even the recessed windows in a transparent steel viewport. Very nice stuff. For the paint, I wish it was mirrored, but it's not bad whatsoever, and it does look very nice in person. And you can't forget, it does come with a nice translucent stand to make it blend in with the rest of the collection, as well as a piece to build your very own Death Star. So that's everything I have to say about the Dark Lord's personal Starfighter today. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, hit that like button, and if you'd like to see more reviews every Thursday, Click subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, everybody. Hey, everybody. It's me, Dave, if you're still there. Um, two quick announcements. Number one, I've been working very hard on the three-year anniversary video. And to all of you at home that submitted videos, letters, or even photos, thank you so much. I hope that once I get all this stuff edited together, it becomes something really special that we could all cherish for years to come.
And for the second announcement, in the next couple of weeks, keep your eye out because I will be posting a very, very important channel update video. In this video, I will describe where I'm at with my life, where I would like to be, a choice I'm about to make, and how that choice might affect the YouTube channel. And it's sure to be a very interesting video. I've never really appeared in front of the camera before. Well, once. If you guys know what video that is, let me know in the comments below. But uh, just keep your eyes out for that because it is very important. 